and welcome to another tutorial with me. Um, my name is Crafty Jojo and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the UK and today I want to show you how to make these lovely um, Christmas ornaments and I've used um, the metallic foiled designer paper from Stampin' Up! for it because I think this is very festive and it looks gorgeous. This is, um, the, the, probably, I'm, I'm sure there are more tutorials for this shape, a star shape or snowflake shake around, um, but I just want to show it to you because uh, they sell very well and if you're still looking for some ideas of what you could um, add to your um, palette of Christmas ornaments, maybe this is the right thing for you. So it's very simple to make and I'm going to show you how. What you need is you need 12 strips of designer paper and you cut them to six inches length and half an inch width and then you need six and the first two you just want to fold in half like so giving you the center part like finding the center is important here so you open them up again and you start gluing them together like so so you add some glue here and you pop this on now this is the wrong side of the paper and this is the good side of the paper so the good side of the paper is facing downwards so you need to add two more strips one to the right and one to the left of your center strip with the good side facing downwards just try to align it you can leave a little gap there because um, that's necessary to weave in the other two that are going to be put in now so the next two again face down good side down you are weaving in by lifting the center bit one up here like so and the other one comes from the bottom so you lift the middle piece up and you weave this in and you can <laughs> the alignment wasn't very good though so this is what you've got now you need to glue them in place so you just want to fold this up add a bit of glue here press it down and do the same here fold this up and glue this down there and then you want to turn it 90 degrees because these bits here also need gluing so again you add glue generously and these ones fold up to here you just must make sure that you don't shift them around so that your alignment of your strips gets wonky so this is what you have so this is woven and it looks quite nice so this is the first bit so you need to do two of them so again you will fold the middle strip in the center like i showed you before one and two like so you want to add glue and with the good side facing down you start aligning or oh, this is a bit you start adding the other strips so one goes to the right one goes to the left Oops, don't want to glue this to my paper, so that has oozed out. So you make sure that in case it has oozed out, you, you keep moving your workpiece, otherwise it's stuck to your crafting surface before you notice. So, because my glue is actually extra sticky, extra tacky glue, so it sticks very quickly. It's the high-tech all-purpose glue, and um, this is really quick so we glue the center piece down and I want to move this 90 degrees and then I want to fold up these two bits here and add glue there so glue here and glue there fold these back down and the same at the bottom here oops as you can see you need to hold it in place to not lose your alignment all right so once you've got these two bits i usually prepare like four so because they need to set a bit have i put glue in here yes i have they need to set a bit so make sure you press it down well and while this is drying you could do the next one so now you have this cross and you just want to turn it so that it 
lies in front of you like so. And you're going to take this and this strip and you're going to bend this to inwards so the good side is facing you. And you add some glue only in that corner and you take the other one and you want to align it and just glue it together like so. And you're going to do this on all four corners. All right. So this is the shape you are creating. So you turn it and you take this and this. You leave the center strips. You just take the two outer ones. You bend the good side upwards towards facing you. And then you bring the other one in. It is a bit tricky and you need really high tack glue. Or you need like pegs or something to keep your paper in place. Because if you let go of it too early it will just come undone again because the paper pulls it's it's under tension so it pulls quite hard and this is what you do and you want to create two equal pieces so the second st six strips you are going to glue exactly the same so I'm going to do that off camera because um, once you've seen what I'm doing you don't need to watch all the rest it's just boring and adding to my upload time which is forever with the slow internet that we have in car shields and there you go just so just want to gently press it in shape so this is the shape you are creating and this is the second piece you do exactly the same so you want to place it like that in front of you you just pick up the two outer ends and glue them together like so okay so here I am with my two bits and now what you want to do is you flip this over and you want to place this on top of your other piece like so can you see it and then you want to weave this strip underneath here oops and this goes underneath here and this one underneath here and this one underneath here so this is what you've done you weave the center strips underneath and then you flip it over and you do the same on the other side so you weave them in like so and it is perfectly fine that they are sticking out from here nothing wrong everything is like it's supposed to be and all you do now is you start gluing them down by adding some glue and then just make sure that this is the chevron is really centered otherwise your star is going to be wonky in the end or your snowflake or whatever this shape is so you want to try to align it and double check that they sit centered And there you go. You probably, depending on how carefully you created your weave centerpiece, uh, your weave centerpiece, um, you need might need not not need you might not need to correct anything at all, or you have to do slight corrections. But if you've done loads of corrections, you haven't worked very um, precisely at the beginning. And that will, in the end, then give you some problems with aligning it. But if you have worked pretty straight, it's no problem. So there you go. This is what you do. You just glue them in place. Oops. And the last bit and then we're almost there because all that's left to do now is once this has set I have to quickly hold this down put oops, this on my glue so now this is the almost there as you can see we're almost there so now you need your scissors and all you do is you trim off following this line so you trim off these edges and making the pointy ends like so looking really pretty 
I love this design and I'm sure they will fly off the shelf. I've been doing um, Christmas trees and snowflakes yesterday all day long and I'm again only left with a few on my um, pitch in the shop because I'm sitting here in Studio 8 at Allendale Forge Studios and I'm making Christmas ornaments for my shop pitch and I just don't manage to build up stock because it flies off the shelf but I must say this paper is exceptionally beautiful and um, I'm sure these are going to sell even better than the other ones did so what's left to do is you take your whole handheld punch hole punch and anyone it doesn't matter there is no rule which one you choose you make a hole you grab a piece of ribbon that you like that um, matches up with this and then this is how I do it because I just use my tweezers to poke it through there you go just make sure my ends are the same length and then you want to carefully pull. I want this this way around. Yes, here we go. So you have a nice end. Then you just want to take your ends, tie a knot in it. Oops. Take the ends. Carefully pull it up and there you go that's your ornament finished what you could do is you could still uh, maybe punch out circles stamp sentiments uh, put a flower on whatever you like um, anything can be done uh, but I leave mine plain like this and this is um, it so I hope you like this little tutorial um, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel the button is at the bottom right corner there in the description link of this tutorial you will find the links to my blog to my Etsy store where there's loads of tutorials for great Christmas gifts and um, to my Facebook um, group if you aren't a member yet you're welcome to join just um, scroll down find the link to my Facebook group and join and that's it well thank you very much for your attention today and happy crafting and enjoy um, what you're doing thanks and until next time bye